Welcome back to Inverted Aviators RC. You're here because you want to put a micro camera on the UMX Voodoo, so let's get right into it. This is all that you're going to need to make this modification. We're starting off with one of these little adapters, which is a micro SH3 pin connector, which is going to go straight into the main board and draw power into our Wolf Whoop WT03 camera, an awesome camera that we've been using for all of our planes and all of our videos. And this little adapter, which comes with the camera, is how we're going to get power from A to B. Then you're going to need a paper clip to heat up and make a hole in the nose so that these wires can go through it. A little bit of heat shrink in order to protect all the wires on the inside. Double piece of tape so you can stick the camera onto the plane as well as a few other minor things like some packaging tape and some scissors just to get everything back in shape. So without any further ado, let's get into this build. This first step is pretty simple. You're just going to take an X-Acto knife and follow all the tape lines to take the top part of the plane. Be careful not to cut into the foam, but as long as you just follow the tape, the top should pop off just like this and you'll be ready to look at the insides. Now if you watch the video where we put an FPV camera on the UMX Kinshendo, you'll notice that these boards are very similar and there is a three pin port that we will be able to pull power from in order to power our camera. Now these little adapters, they are mini micro SH one millimeter JST three pin connectors. They are in the description as well. Uh, but that's all we're gonna need to power our camera. And so just like the UMX Concendo, it plugs right in and we'll have to get the signal wire out of there. Uh, but as you can see here, we just have to plug it in and make sure it's a nice fit. Don't push too hard so you don't accidentally bend the pins, but we are able to get a constant five volt output which should perfectly power our camera and we will be good to go. Now this is the most important part of any modification you do, and that's making sure your electronics work before you plug anything in. So here I've got a multimeter where I'm touching the red wire to the red wire of the adapter. As you can see here, I'm getting a negative five volt output. Now if I swap those wires around and then touch the red of the multimeter to the black of the adapter, do red to black and black to red, I get a positive five volt output. So for us, that means when we're wiring it up, we are connecting the red of the three pin adapter to the black of the camera wire and the black of the three pin to the red of the camera wire. As you can see here, this is the correct wiring. It's not red to red, it is red to black. And as long as you do that, you'll be just fine. So here we're just going to cut the adapter that we get from the Wolf Whoop WT03 and connect that to that three pin adapter that we have. And you might be wondering, well, why don't we solder it directly to the camera? Well. In our opinion, if something goes wrong with the camera, you're gonna have to unsolder that from the wires directly, which is a lot more of a pain. So instead, if we use these adapters that comes with the camera, it's a lot easier to swap things around if things break. So you're gonna take the adapter that comes with the Wolf Whoop W203, cut it in half, and then you tin and prep all of the wires, including the three pin adapter and the Wolf Whoop adapter, and get some solder and get some flux in there and add a little bit of heat shrink to the wires because you can't add it once they are soldered together. So you only need a few millimeters of heat shrink that should cover the joint that you're about to correct. Now I'm gonna reiterate once again, you are soldering the red wire from the adapter to the black wire of the camera. Do not get that mixed up or you're gonna see a lot of fun smoke, which means your camera won't work. So again, red to black and black to red. The yellow wire isn't used, so you can just cut it short and get it out of the way. The last step is just heating up that heat shrink that we added a few seconds ago to make sure all the wires are nice and protected. Next up, we're using the patented heated up paperclip technique. And what we're gonna do is eye up where we're gonna poke a hole here. It's gonna be a little off center, but then you're just going to heat up the paperclip and just be careful this is open fire, but you're just gonna heat it up until it passes straight through the nose here. And it is pretty thin foam, so you're not gonna to have to push for too long or have it be too hot. But as you can see here, we have a little off center and that's because the wires coming off the Wolf Whoop WT03 aren't directly down the center of the camera. So if you offset it just a little bit, the wires will be able to run straight down through the plane. And once the hole is big enough, you can route the camera wires straight through and you'll be good to go. In order to secure this camera to the plane, you're gonna need three pieces of tape. This first long one is just for the base to make sure everything stays stuck onto the plane. And these other two pieces of tape, these small ones here are on the corners because the nose of this plane is curved and the bottom of the camera is flat. So if you only have one piece of tape, the corners of the camera is gonna come off the ground. So instead we just put two pieces of tape here and that makes sure the entire bottom part of the camera stays secured to the nose of the plane. So with me, I've got the SkyZone M5 monitor to help me look at the camera signal. And if you aren't able to find it, you can also change the output channel coming from the camera with a little button that comes on the Wolf Whoop 
but it looks really, really nice. And again, the big point of having this system plugged directly into the main board is you don't need any external batteries to power the camera. You always have the camera powered whenever you're flying through the air. Now it does look really nice sitting on the bench here, but let's put it back together so we can get up into the air. In order to reassemble this plane, you're just gonna need a few pieces of tape. Uh, put the battery hatch back on the top and then wiggle it around and wherever you see a little gap, all you're gonna need to do is put some tape there. So you can see at the front, there is a little bit of movement, a little gap, so I put a piece of tape there. Same with the back. And then on this back hatch here, I put one extra piece of tape right over the end just to make sure everything stays secure and in there. And just like that, we have added a FPV camera to the UMX Voodoo. So let's go get this thing in the air. Okay, everything should be good to go. This is gonna be the maiden flight. I'm guessing I fly it somewhere to that of a warbird, but I'm just gonna pop this guy up and get in the air. Safe off. Okay, there we go. I got a little bumpy. That's probably because this runway I'm flying on is very grassy. But here's FPV on the UMX Voodoo. Um, I've got to trim this out a little bit. As you can see, I'm kind of diving. Um, so I'm gonna put back trim, which I'm gonna fly higher. But man, this feels quick. More back trim. This could also be just the battery placements a little off, or it could be mechanical, but I'm gonna go up high, try to trim it out. Let's see, there we go. Now we're flying stable. Uh, but this is looking good so far. Uh, it feels pretty snappy too. So I'm just gonna keep doing some donuts, fly over by me. But it's so quiet too, wow. Let's get some height, chest out the aerobatics. <laughs> oh yeah, that's flying well. Let's see, can I tell, oh yeah, there's uprights here. I don't wanna fly into those, but yeah, this plane is flying really well. You even got some good rudder authority. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought there would be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I just had to trim it out quite a bit. It's still not perfect as you can see, but I'm completely back trimmed out, so I, don't, I can't do anything else. But let's just get a little extra altitude here and see what we can do with a little dive. Man, this plane's fun. Let's see if we do some knife edge, because it feels like that rudder authority is a lot. So if you do thumbs together, look at that, a little knife edge, do a little low pass. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, as you can see, adding an FPV camera to this plane, it handles it without any problems. It's really, really smooth, and I'm guessing again from the beginning, if it wasn't for this little grass on the runway, this would have taken off without that little bump. But I'm just gonna keep flying it around. I've got pretty low throttle this whole time, but it's got some power to it. It sounds so cool going by. Let's just go, can it go completely vertical? Now my transmitter doesn't like it, but I know I just charged these batteries, so they all should be fine, but I guess I won't push it if it's telling me it's, it's low. I can feel a mosquito on my leg. All right, this is cool. I guess we can do some inverted flight, hence the name. Easy as I'll get out. A little inverted roll. Man, this is cool. I like how you can see, you can kind of see the propeller. Like it's got that, those silver tips you can see really well. Um, but you don't get any of that like really harsh camera roll or uh, what's it called? when you can see the propeller because of the how fast the camera's going. But with these Wolfwolf WT-03 cameras, they have a high enough frame rate that they, it handles it really well. So that's, that's a nice addition. Uh, I guess I'll try to bring it in here for a land because I'm calling this a very successful addition and I already have more ideas on things to add to this plane. Um, 
but yeah, this adding a camera is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna try to land it just over here, a little closer to me. Just bleed off the speed. Oh, grass. Yeah, I figured I'd nose over into the grass, but that's a, a first successful flight with the uh, camera on it. So stick around if you want more videos like this because this is really cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching.